the recording continues. If, well, yeah, because when I first thought about public channeling, you were the one that mentioned it. I, You said, what about public channeling? And I'm going, uh, well, that would change everything. That changes the perception that people have of you. That changes the a way that you affect things. And I don't know. I just, at first, it was very scary, a very scary thought. He goes, well, give it some time. Think about it. And I'm going, yeah, I'm going to have to think about it. Because there was a nice group of people, Reiki people. Yes. And they actually laugh at us. They go, oh, yeah, the gym's channeling. You know. uh, they do laugh at us. Yeah. So. Oh. Some they get seriously come and ask questions when Lakesh is there, and others just uh, stay away and laugh because for them it's just scary. Spooky. Yeah. Spooky, spooky, scary, but I... Uh, I can control whether they come in or not. Oh. So, uh, oh, there, there. Yeah, All right. and sometimes I let them in during Reiki session because no, I think it's fairly accepted there. And he does want to talk to Mary, and I don't get to talk to Mary very often. And uh -huh. and he does like to talk to Max. And they nice everybody guy, likes to. Rick, Rick also met Lakesh. And Rick was fun. very. Um, Lakesh was very interested in him for some reason, so don't sure why. I, I was it. Rick was great. Rick is young and talented. Yes, he is. He's very talented. Very bold, yes. And there's others there that embrace Barb. The Barbaras embrace the yeah, Barbara channel, and there, yeah. and, um, and even Gary and Diane say, "Hey." That's fine if you want to do that. You know. I don't know if Gary would like his name on public or not on the record. Oh, all right. Too late. <laughs> I didn't say his last name. Oh, it should be? <laughs> no, no I, but I think they're accepting of it, so. Um, no, no, Gary comes and says, la, 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 I've been on channel sessions 50 years ago, and yes. I still don't care about it. That's what he says. Yes, it's not important to him. That's all right. But no, I don't no, think he disbelieves. He wants to play safe. He is yes. a great light worker, but he plays it really safe. And I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. He's the center of the you know, local uh, community, and he does it gracefully. He does gracefully. it very well. He's, he's a wonderful person, great human being, very, very much enlightened, and very intelligent. So... Um, I, 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 I love Gary, I think he's great. So, anyway, so, I, for me to come out and do public channeling was very difficult at first. The very first time that I did it, but I was it's like... But not you who are speaking. But the you thing is, but it's, true. but it's, they're looking at me. <laughs> yeah, but it's not me, but they're looking at me. <laughs> so, they're saying... Is it really him or is it not? So you can get a reputation. There are some people that don't believe in it at all, so they get you can get a reputation for being goofy or, you know, being a fraud or whatever. He's not real. Yeah, some people are stating publicly that Jim is a fraud. Yes, I know. Not a frog. Not a frog, but a fraud. A fraud, yes. Well, I was telling wow. Jim that I feel the difference in frequencies when he brings yeah. the uh -huh. entities in, so I know you're real because I can feel that. <laughs> okay, thank you. But and you, you know, the people, the poetry that comes through you and the language. I tried once to speak Russian to someone on the other side who knows Russian, and they couldn't get it. Who? I wouldn't say, but they couldn't get it through you. So they use your perception, and you don't know Russian. No. But you can speak other languages, like people come through and speak all different languages. Let's ask some of them to speak Russian. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be great. I don't test. know. I get the star languages mm -hmm. because they know them. All of them yeah, know them. Yeah, but some so. of them know Russian as well. Why would they speak? I them? don't know. Don't ask. Uh huh. I don't know. So now we have a. New I don't test. question them. Now yeah. we have a great test. So the Karai comes with all the stuff, and I ask everybody who comes through him to count from one to twenty in their language. Okay, you and said that didn't mesh with other people's languages. So something. far, so far I don't have a matching set yet, but I will. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll ask everybody who comes through who has a language. Some of them don't. Because uh, there's, just like on Earth, their number systems are differ from planet to planet to different. 
yeah, sections of the planet. Yeah, but you and the Karaians uh, come through yeah. the Karaians. Uh huh. If they have similar things, that would be a great confirmation. Yeah. yeah. Right? Okay. Unless the Karaians watches you, memorizes how you say it, and says it the same thing, right? <laughs> I haven't even. I didn't even know there was numbers on there, so <laughs> I don't know. So. Uh, so you're ready? Are you okay to channel a little bit more? Well, if somebody comes, somebody. Uh, we invite someone very light, very positive, very. Happy. Yeah, because the cash really bounced me around today. Happy and uh, poetry, prayers, and poems would be most invited, or just a sermon from an angel would be great, or a fairy, someone very light, very positive. I'll do a little more, more um, of the music. Hello. Hello. Who is coming? Please introduce yourself. It's Jim. Oh, hey, Jim. <laughs> I just said hi to Oksana. Oh. That is so nice. Hey, Jim. Nice <laughs> to have you. What a change. I was like, okay. Someone was coming, but uh, uh, I came back. That's <laughs> okay. But I don't know who's. Okay. The Karai was channeling yesterday in the middle of the party, a mad party. People were laughing and looking at the camera. Where's Zachariah from?
I am Shoshana. Shoshana, long time over here. We met before. Daughter of Sophia. Ah. Who has Thank passed you. from being to spirit. How are you now? By permission, I come to give her comfort. Thank you for coming through. That is a very important thing for Sephira and for everybody. Though I am no longer in my hybrid body, I have a mission that is profound. Fear not, Mother, I will be with you in future times. But I was only given a moment to tell you. I must leave. Thank you, blessings. I am the angel Gahil. Welcome. From the nine realms. I am the one given to the permission of Shoshana. Thank you. She was needing to speak. I must also speak. Thank you. Your world comes under attack daily from outer forces, but you are being protected. But sometimes these negative forces come through. What you should do if you feel this negative force is thank God, your creator, the white light, the energy that created us and flows through all of you. You must call on him immediately as a group together when you feel it. As soon as you feel it, you will be connected to all those others that feel it. And you will be connected in light when you thank him for relieving the problem. Does this make sense? Yes, thank you. This is what I needed to come and tell you because all over your planet the vibration has fallen because of these depressions. Uh -huh. And we wouldn't want you to pick that back up again. With great love, great power of unity. There is so much power in your unity. You grasp together your souls and your spirits, which have so much power than the body. The body is nothing compared to the energy within you. Do you understand? Yes. Blessings to you gather together. Become a force of light. Do not be foiled by a negative attack. Bond together even when you do not see each other. The bonds are strong. You needed to hear these things. These words were given for your continuation. Oh. 
Oh, hello. Hey, Jean. How are you? Good. Kahilo's here. And Shoshana. Shoshana? Yeah. Hmm. That's a surprise. They said she wasn't coming. She needed to clarify bureaucratic permissions. Oh. She said she wasn't. They said she wasn't coming. You know, so for her to come is interesting. Gahil gave okay. her permission. Oh, okay. He is authorized. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm good. Angels are the ones who are you know, dealing with these transitions, and uh, he is pretty high level, third level, so he was. Uh, the one who gave the permission. Oh, good energy, Max. Yeah. I had tons of questions to Gahil, but not today. Not, you know, it wasn't appropriate to ask questions. It all always lowers the vibration. You know, he has to go like many levels of vibration down. To, just to answer my questions, but he, he, he doesn't this mind. Is, this is why he doesn't stay very long as well. It's very difficult at times. Uh -huh. I mean, he's a third level and not close to us, so he comes way down. I think we need to take his advice and consciously bond together energetically. Maybe we pick a time every day and anybody who can mm -hmm. will all kind of meditate and offer our thanks to God. Just, you know, mm -hmm. unify as a group that way. Yeah, and meditation. then your spirits will combine or whatever. My meditation times are jump, j jumping around my meetings. Mm -hmm. I have meetings. I try to stay around meditation around lunchtime and around mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, but, you know, sometimes it moves way away. Mine is around 9 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Ah. Um... I get I wake up around 20 till 9 and I do uh, some meditations until about 9 mm -hmm. or maybe a little after and then I send energy out to people that need energy and uh, even I have special symbols for certain people for energy that Lakesh has given me so nice. uh, I think it's not that essential that we synchronize in time it's your cocoa. Oh, cocoa! It's not, uh, you don't have to synchronize in time. Time is just an illusion. It's nice oh, to synchronize, but good. not necessary. Right. So, uh, it's like uh, email. You don't have to answer email right, right the same second. You can send your email and get answer later. And uh, uh, meditations can also be synchronized, mm -hmm. off, shifted off time. We can synchronize it even if we do that. Mm -hmm. It's all no synchronized meaning doing it at the same time, but you can uh, do that, how do you say, link through time, wow. travel through time in your meditations. It doesn't really matter. Uh, our four dimensional beings, they can easily travel within the day back and forth. Mm -hmm. They can uh, attend the meeting in the evening, then attend the meeting in the morning, then pay attention to what happens in the afternoon, that sort of thing. That's normal for them. It's very flexible. And we are moving there as well. So it's it's not a big deal to be shifted a little bit. But basically, Yael a little more flexible. They kind of plus minus, say, three days. Uh, Lakesh is a little less flexible. Lira is also very advanced. They can do the same thing, plus minus few days. I'm not sure about Pleiadians. They vary. But... Um, I don't know. Do we ever ask them? Yes, I. Uh, that was in my uh, sessions, which were very early, because it was a very interesting question for me. How does Bashar know the answer is that fast? And the answer is, he can take as much time to think in his dimension as oh, he wishes to, okay. and then mm -hmm. he can come back and answer the same split second, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he knows in advance what will happen next. So he kind of <laughs> can. Uh, can predict things, mm -hmm. and you know if he needs to pause in his dimension, he can. And also, they are very smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, they are very smart. <clears throat> All right. 
Um, the nations are welcome. Uh, we we are low, and also I need to support my family. If I show that you know, if at least hundred dollars comes, then I can easily do more things like sessions. If nothing comes, then I I'm forced to go look for a job and things of that sort. So, so your donations are your votes. See, for Jim, it's more practical. Jim really needs your money to pay the bill for his uh, tiny. Uh, tiny living space. It's not, it's not huge. It's really not huge. Uh, and gas. He mm -hmm. goes around a lot. Uh, yes, I helping do. other people. He is uh, tell about your church church activities like the. Oh, I'm I'm um, I do church work with uh, the homeless. I work with Dorothy Day House. I'm a volunteer there for. Uh, I work at the St. Joseph's House of Hospitality also, and well, I'm going to be, I should say. And um, I'm going there Monday morning to start learning about how to help them. But I also do in charge of donations and for the for House of uh, for the Dorothy Day House and for volunteer work for when they need help around the buildings and stuff like that. I'm the one that gets the volunteers together. I organize the volunteers. So that's what I do outside of my um, Reiki and channeling. I do uh, uh, volunteer work for um, Dorothy Day House. Very nice. You you interviewed for Goodwill to be I also store well. I sent an application to Goodwill. Yes. <laughs> tell, tell about your interview. I didn't have an interview with Goodwill yet. I just sent an application. Oh, you said you did. No, I said I was going to go to you for an interview and then. The printer couldn't print my application, so because I was out of black ink, so I had to go online and do it. So uh. they were having and they were having interviews that day, but I couldn't print out an app, uh, um, a resume because my ink was out. So <laughs> that's a signature, so that meant to be. signature <laughs> style of your angel guardians or yes. spirit guardians. <laughs> yes. So they it was like. So I had to apply online <laughs> because then you don't need any ink. So. Uh, my uh, stepson was calling his, he broke the key of the car and he was like in two hour drive from here so I couldn't go there. Mm -hmm. So he called, uh, what do I do? And I said, look for a backup key and he said, I do, he doesn't have one. So I, uh, I thought I have to mail, urgently mail him this uh, key. replacement <laughs> key. So I. I was rushing, you know, I had 15 minutes to get to express office, express mail office. And my wallet was disappearing. So I looked uh -huh. everywhere. But you know, we have only 15 minutes. So I looked everywhere for three minutes and then I found somewhere a checkbook and uh, I borrowed the money from, uh, you know, this jar with money of uh, so the smallest kid and uh, ran there. And I thought, why would my wallet disappear? It never disappears. Hmm. It appeared later, but apparently my guardians knew that uh, it was a test for Alex, and he actually made the okay. key. Okay. He did an amazing job. He ran around, went to hardware store, went to dealership. Then he Googled on his Android phone, he Googled for a locksmith. Oh, wow. They found a locksmith in the middle of you know evening, and he got his key back, and it was a very rewarding experience because they had a car full of pro produce, and mm -hmm. two friends who were looking at him as a hero. Oh. He wanted to, he wanted to accomplish that. He was yes. ashamed that he broke a key, oh. and they broke a key for no reason. They used it like a screwdriver or something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my God, it's a signature style. If you know, if you can't find your wallet. They're hiding it. <laughs> they're, they're, hiding it. they're hiding it, and it was hidden like in a very logical place. I discovered it soon. So I said if, a prayer about it. He called it, me and said, "Can you locate my wallet for me?" I go, "I'm getting nothing, but I'll say a prayer." So I oh. said a prayer, and in then a few he, minutes I got it. Okay. <laughs> Later, already after I send the key. Mm -hmm. So the signature, uh, the ink running out of you know, running out of ink. Mm -hmm. a signature style. Mm -hmm. I recognize when computer crashes is crashed by my uh, guardians. It's you know they do it in a very specific way, or mm -hmm. they don't want me to read a certain email. It just would freeze, and I know 
I, I get the message. Or if a cat comes, uh, if the cat comes and starts biting me and scratching <laughs> me, I know I have to stop whatever whatever I'm doing, typically sitting on the computer, and rush to a meeting. And he does it exactly in the oh time when gosh. I have to get out. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> he does it like every day, a couple times a day. So it's wow. like a miracle happening a couple times a day to me. Cool. <laughs> that is. <laughs> and also they... Uh, I return from my meditation, I go on the other side, I'm basically napping, sleeping fully, and even without the alarm clock, I get four minutes before something is going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, a telephone call, or I got to run to a meeting, or something else, or, you know, something very unexpected, a phone, you know, somebody knocks on the door, it just mm -hmm. happens. So, that, that is another miracle on, on the, and, and, and Reiki energy on fingertips, I, we can feel the energy. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, uh, donations asked for that. Yeah, Jim channeling session. We reduced the price because he's uh, avail more available these days. $40 for half an hour, telephone, Skype. Uh, and Lakesh is usually answering the questions. And you know the quality of his answers, but still he's still real, although he messes up sometimes. Sometimes. He doesn't like you that. Forgive him. <laughs> uh, I don't know what he... You know, it's a challenge for him. It's mm -hmm. not my, my it's not my problem. It is not my problem. I knew from the very beginning that channeling is a tricky business. I wrote a book on channeling. And how do we bring together channelings which completely contradict each other? Is the moon hollow? Uh, scientists, mainstream scientists, did the experiment and they proved the moon is hollow. And like, Cash doesn't believe that. Too bad. And the Earth history tells that the moon wasn't there before. We have legends. Akash, your story is not right. Mm -hmm. At least in my reality, the moon is new. It's about a few tens of thousands of years old, but not older. It is told from elsewhere. And the composition of the moon is extraterrestrial. It's not earthly. Akash, you're on again. <laughs> What's the sound? Yeah. <laughs> but much love to you anyway. Your poetry is great. I love your poetry. And your help in my business was great. When asked for advice on someone I don't know, his advice how to deal with a person was right to the point. Right to the point. That was great. Thanks, Lakesh. And now your messages are confirmed by, by Zachariah. In large extent, say very specific things were confirmed, very unusual things were confirmed. So we believe that you're real, but you need to practice. You know, you maybe are too remote to, from our reality. That's the point. It's hard to see from your distant, unknown planet where we are here, and learning our our geography a little bit. It would help. <laughs> uh, I hope he's listening. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm joking. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, let's do a blessing. Mm. Jim, can you do a blessing for everyone? Uh, especially, the spring was coming yesterday. Let's do a spring blessing. Okay. Let me. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we have here on the earth. Thank you for Mother Earth and, and all the things she gives to us and provides day to day. We love you and thank you for all that you do. We ask that you bring the spring about soon. There's so much cold and so much negativity in the cold. We ask for all the positive things of signs of nature, the growing of flowers and trees, we just ask that you'd be with us and bring us through the rest of the winter in a positive way so that we can embrace the spring. We love you, we praise you, we thank you, we give you all the glory and we give you all understanding of everything that we know. We know that it comes from you and that we are only a creation of yours. Thank you for the spirit within us. Thank you for the the bodies and how they function and the lessons that we learn from them and we just praise and thank you for all these things. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Thank you.